Okay, so we have got the full 14 and a half volts of Fury. Let's see if we can't get this whole piece of stainless steel wire glowing a good one. Let's see what she does. It's gonna take a little while, but we'll see. Ooh, she's getting warm. I can feel the heat. There she goes. That is an insane amount of heat coming off of that. Whoa. Look at that whole piece of wire glowing. Down to 11.8 volts already. Holy hell. Pretty sure that would have um, been more than enough energy to start a vehicle by now. It's kilowatts of heat there, guys. Kilowatts. 10.8 volts now. Starting to lose enough voltage to uh, get over the resistance of this piece of wire here, but cut that resistor in half and ooh, that's as much as I dare. I ain't taking that any higher. Ooh. 9.8 volts now. All of that energy dissipated and we're still 9.8 volts. Can't argue with that. There's some pretty good pretty good energy storage there. It's enough to heat up the cable. All right, we've got the cat pack in place of the battery. Our battery is there. It's this little one. And there's the cat pack. Let's see if we can't get a couple of cranks out of her. A few pumps on, we like that. Let's see what the voltage is. 15 volts. Turns over quick. Holy. Let's see if we get another one. This is from cold, by the way. It's the first start. It's completely stone cold. Let's give it another one. Nice and quick again. Just want to see at what point it becomes a problem starting and stopping. to load trying to charge that cap back up so we're down at 12.1 the engine rpm is down a little bit it revs up it's better she's up at 13.6 now so yeah i don't think you could do many starts but i kind of knew that i mean I'm not going to be starting and stopping the car like that too much, so that's fine. Works. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 